What's going on, y'all? Welcome to another learning video with Everything EE. Um, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. We've been talking about some circuits one. Um, we're going to move over to talking about some interview questions that y'all might get. Um, I, wanna, I want this channel to uh, focus on a few different things, and one of those is kind of preparing yourself for those interviews that can get you uh, those internships and also those uh, full-time jobs. Um, so a lot of times, most of the time, you run into a few technical questions um, in, during the interview process. Um, so this one, this particular example, um, is going to be similar to one that I got when I was interviewing for an internship back in 2013 uh, for AMD out in Austin, Texas. Uh, it was a great internship. I actually, I did get the internship. Um, it was super awesome living in Austin and working for a company like AMD. Um, so yeah, it was it was great. And so I just want to share one of the of the subject matters that we discussed during our um, interview. So uh, this particular engineer's uh, questions was based on um, digital logic, but from a hardware uh, level. So. We're used to our uh, not gates or, or inverting gates, our ands, ors, nans, nors, everything, right? So um, what we can do is we can create those gates at a hardware level um, out of MOSFETs and, and specifically CMOS circuits, which is complementary uh, MOS circuits. So uh, let's start off with an easy one. Uh, I'm going to start off with, oops, okay, I'm going to start off with this, so we're going to have, VDD into a P-type, and then down into an N-type MOSFET. We have our input A here. Oof. Oof. Come on, man. A. And out here. Okay. What we're looking for is, based on the inputs from A, can be a 0 or a 1. What are we getting on our output? I wonder if any of y'all know what this is. Do y'all know what this is? All right, well, let's find out. <clears throat> so our P-type uh, transistor up here, we know that our VGS, our gate to source voltage, sorry about that. Our gate to source voltage, it needs to be GS minus it needs to be, let's see, VG should be uh, less than uh, VS. So when we're doing, when we're getting VGS, we're getting uh, VGS is equal to VG minus VS. So here for this guy, all right, forget, forget this, forget this. For this gate to turn on, this is all we really need to know. For this gate to turn on, V and G has to be less than VS, okay? And so <clears throat> down here, it's the opposite for this N type. VG needs to be greater than VS. And here, this is the G and this is the S. Right, so <clears throat> if we're digital logic, right, we're only concerned with on and off states. Um, so, so let's kind of look at it. Um, when we have zero volts here, we're completely off as the input signal. What do we have here? Um, VG down here. So this is going to be for the zero volts case. And this is going to be for the N type. 
So for the N type, VG is going to equal zero because that's the voltage you see here. It's just the input, zero volts. VS is connected to ground, so it's also zero volts. So is VG greater than VS? No, it's not. So this guy, in the A equals zero state, it's going to be off. Okay. P type. VG is equal to zero volts. VS is equal to VDD. So is VG, or so is zero less than VDD? Yes, it is. So this one's going to be on. So if we are off here and on here, then our output, if this switch is turned on, our output is connected to VDD. Okay, so we're going to get a 1 on the output. Hopefully that makes sense so far. Get rid of some of this stuff. Now let's go to the other case when A equals VDD or 1. So we're looking at this, this case right here when it's 1. So on the N type, VG is equal to VDD, which is 1, or just on. VS is equal to 0 volts again, because it's connected to ground. So is VDD greater than 0? or VG greater than VS yep so the N type is going to be on P type VG is VDD and VS is VDD so is VDD greater than VDD or I'm sorry is VD is VG less than VS when they're both VDD? No. So that's off. Okay? So so the N type is on, so that means this guy this output is connected to ground. So we get zero. Okay? So can we um based on this table here, can we figure out what kind of gate this is, right? We have an input of zero, we get a one out. We have an input of one, we get a zero out. What kind of gate is that? Right, it's an inverting gate. We got this beautiful lovely digital logic symbol the not or inverting gate so this symbol is actually made using this circuit okay so let's try another one let's try a uh, different different gate see if you guys can figure this one out okay uh, so we're gonna have VDD going into P type Then another in parallel. Let's do it like this. Another P type. Let's make this real nice. All right. Then we got the N types down here. I believe this was the exact question he asked me um, on this. So 
Here's A. Bring this bad boy around. Here's B. Okay. Let's get our uh, truth table. A, B. Uh, this will be the output right here in this node. Zero zero one one zero one zero one and output. Okay, so let's remember when you have a one on here, these guys are turning on. When you have a zero, they're off. When you have a a one on these guys, they're going to uh, turn on. And when you have a zero on them, they're going to be off. Okay, so let's just run through this real quick so first case zero zero so we got zeros on everything zero for a zero for B uh, so these are going to be uh, let's uh, let's just write this real quick Sorry. on is when v g is less than v s okay and this is g and this is s and then n type on is when v g is greater than v s and this is g and this is s okay so here we have for the p types vg is zero and vs is vdd so vg is less than vs so these will be on so these guys are on and then uh, vg down here on the n types is less than vs where it's actually the same so it's not greater than vs so these are going to be off So we're going to get one, okay, because these both are on, so we have a connection on both sides to out. Out's connected to VDD, so we'll get one, okay? Uh, let's try zero one. Oops, I can leave that. So A is 0 and 0. And then B, oops, sorry. It was 1, 0. My bad. Let's go ahead and change this then. B stays 0. A is now 1. Okay? So if 1 is basically on or, or high, so it's VDD. So VDD is not less than VDD. So these are going to be, this one's going to be off. This one, uh, V, V D D and it, uh, I'm sorry, V G is less than V S because zero is less than V D D. So this one's on. And then uh, <clears throat> this one's going to be off because it was the same. It's the same state. <clears throat> And this is kind of in like a floating state, or it doesn't really matter, honestly, um, because this one's off, so there's no connection to ground. So again, we get this connection here to VDD. So we get a 1. Okay. So now we have 0, 1. Let's go ahead and switch it around. We got zero for A, ones for B. So here VG is less than VDD or VS. So this is on. This one's going to be the same. So this is off. 
VG is 1 and VS is 1 <clears throat> then this one's going to be this VG is greater than VS so this will be on right so we have ground here but but this zero is not greater than what's on this vs which is ground because this guy's on so this is off so again we get this path to vdd on the output so we get one okay last one let's finish this up We have one one. So one, 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 one. Perfect. Let's check this out. So is uh this guy's gonna have an equal voltage. VG is gonna be equal to, to VS, because they're both at VDD. Uh, so this is going to be off. Same with this guy, off. Down here. We have a one and a ground, so VDD to ground, VDD is greater than ground, so this is on. Same deal here, on, so we're going to get a zero here, because we have a, a path down to ground. Okay, so taking a look at this, what gate is this? What gate is this? For everything besides 1-1, one, one, we have 1. And for 1-1, one, one, we have 0. That's going to be NAND. NAND gate, right? Because if we inverted all these, if we inverted all these guys, we would get the AND logic, so that would be 1, 0, 0, 0. And you can tell 0, 0, you get a 0. 1, 0, you get a 0. 0, 1, you get a 0. 1, 1, you would get a 1. That's an AND, that's an and gate. We have the opposite of that, so it's a NAND gate. Got it? Sweet. Awesome, y'all. Um, there are plenty more uh, combinations for all the gates. Um, let me know down in the comments if you want me to run through the rest of them. But this was the exact uh, uh, structure that I was given on that on that uh, interview for AMD. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep doing these. Um, I have a few other friends that are uh, sending me the problems that they were they were encountering uh, in their interviews. Um, so hopefully we can get a nice little um, sort of like library of these interview problems, y'all. So uh, definitely take a look. Let me know in the comments if you had any crazy interview questions or or just some that have come up a bunch that we can add um, and, and just help each other out. Um, as always, thank you for checking this video out. And please like and subscribe. Thanks, y'all. Have a great day.